Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? Happy Halloween, it's currently 1.28 a.m. in the morning, or at night, and it's the perfect time to record a Fago video. Why am I at here awake deadass at night? Uh, because the Korean version of Fago just announced that they're getting Muramasa now. So today's video, we're gonna be talking about some shit. Yeah, that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, all that other shit. But whatever, let's get into it. So, if you don't know this, Fugo NA is two years behind on JP side of the game. On the JP side of the game, Muramasa was a New Year's unit. The one game that we're not two years behind on is the Korean version. We're about a couple weeks behind the Korean version. And uh, maybe a, I think a full month behind the Korean version. So as such, um, when those surprise banners started showing up for NA, I thought there was no way to track when we were going to get units when they came in. But it turned out that on the Korean version, they got those same banners. So, though, so some people started taking it as, oh, if Korea gets it, we're going to get it. So with that said, they're getting Muramasa, and he's being attached to the new Lost Belt, not Lost Belt, Lost Point, 5.3 or something like that. It's the one coming up, it's the one we're going to be getting in November pretty soon. And yeah, that's fucking mental. So this is how that banner is going to go for them. It's going to go Dalman, Ibuki, and then him near end of November, and then they're also going to get a rerun. He's coming out 1118, <laughs> and then after him is King Asan, and it's uh, Europa over there. That's... There's just no words for this. This is insane. Even if it doesn't apply to us, what is their New Year's unit? Because this is what happened on New Year's for JP. It was a rerun of Saber Wars. So... There's no real like New Year's-esque unit coming up except for in Little Big Tango, which I think is Avenger Ushi. So is Avenger Ushi gonna be their New Year's unit? There's a lot of like logistics here where I'm thinking of like, what is it gonna be? Muramasa for New Year's makes the most sense to me because that's a big unit. That's the one people have been asking for, waiting for. So yeah, of course you make him. And this is his banner. Now. My brother pointed out to this to me, this actually, which is like, so whether or not this comes to Korea, it comes to Korea, it comes to NA, is complete speculation on my part. I feel like it all the kind of comes down to if we get that banner they got with the summer swimsuit units, that basically is like uh, Silver Surfer heralding Galactus, that's Doom coming, baby. That means Muramasa is not that far off, <laughs> and he'll probably be here before New Year's. He'll be here by early December or late November, whichever one ends up happening. Which is it's fucking insane. I mean, it's a month early. It's an entire month early. I just don't... It's, anyway, continuing on. Um, my brother pointed out that his banner actually is a saber, a, lance, uh, a lancer, an archer, a caster, an assassin, a rider, and an extra. Why is that relevant? Because on the NA side of the game, we have a very special banner <laughs> that only shows up in November that is traditionally one saber, <laughs> one archer, one lancer, one rider, a caster, an assassin and an extra so yeah it's a lot it's it would make a lot of sense for him to come out for thanksgiving if there's anything to be celebrating for thanksgiving it's that the devs have been saying that they don't like how much clear points we have on our side of the game so if they're gonna try and mess us up this would definitely be one way of doing it and yeah this is definitely one way of 
completely messing up all plans Harold Ford. Like, it's so hard, and it's also funny that they did this right after I did, like, hey, this is what's coming up in November, this is what I think it's gonna be. In no way, shape, or form did I ever think that there was a possibility of anyone getting Muramasa early. It just doesn't make sense. There's just nothing that, there's no unit that, like, it's, it's, you know, obviously, Muramasa based off of, uh, she uh Shiro, who is the main hero for Fate's Day Night, and in general, well liked. There's a reason why Emiya keeps getting buffs, is because he's basically Shiro, spoilers. So, when you think of a New Year's unit, you really only think of like select units it could be. It has to be big ones. And what we have coming up here just isn't, just don't feel like New Year's worthy sweets to me. Which sounds messed up, but that's just not what it feels like to me. So I don't know what they're gonna do. One thing I'm kind of curious on is that if the, he gets moved up, what's to say more Morgan doesn't get moved up? What's to say any of the other units go don't get moved up? If a New Year's unit can be moved up, then that means it's a fair game for everyone. And if that is the case, then it's fair game for everyone. Let me just say they should just bring in Vich an entire year early and give us fucking pity a year early, like. That would completely screw up everything, because that would also be the introduction of um, Buster Meta way earlier than anyone would have considered. It would probably actually be equal parts screw up. There's no good answers here, ladies and gentlemen. There's only wild speculation as to wondering what what the thought process behind this is, other than we need a lot of money and our scheduling was screwed up originally. Because that's what I think is probably this is the long case of, is that Fago, we're entering the COVID years of Fago, when things were very hard to plan out, and as such, a lot of stuff is kind of planned out sparingly, because you know, everyone was trying to figure out shit to do with. But now that we're exiting, or trying our damnedest to exit out of it, it just doesn't make sense to do it that way. Would you want to play a game that was like two years delayed of COVID response? <laughs> not, not really. So the only answer really is to move it up. But in moving it up, you get stuff like this, where it's completely anachronistic. It just doesn't feel right in some case. Okay, that's that's all I have to say. It's really weird. If you have any specific thoughts on this, again, I'm not saying it's confirmed. What I'm saying is Korea got him, and that's a very scary sign for what's coming up for NA. Uh, if you are if you haven't started saving and you were planning to save for the entire month, I would suggest start looking around for some, square, some spare SQ, because your boy might be coming in a whole two months earlier than you would have thought, a whole month or so earlier than you would have thought, whatever the timeline ends up being. So, yeah, that's the end of the video, everyone. Again, happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And speaking of Halloween, this is the ultimate jump scare of all time. Goddamn.